Welcome back to a sunny lockdown Cornwall. Uh, strange times indeed. This uh, this channel, I never intended it to be a review channel. I didn't want to review equipment, I didn't want to review cameras. It's It was always meant to be about me, my shoots, and making a living as a jobbing photographer, as a full-time photographer and just... Uh, yeah, just, just the way I shoot and, and the shoots I do. Um, but obviously in these, these strange times, I thought I would uh, change things up a bit and talk about a camera. The mo probably the most amazing but pointless camera. It's the, uh, the Polaroid <laughs> Big Shot. It's... Uh, it's just the most ridiculous one trick pony camera. It takes headshots and that's all it does. Uh, uses 4x5 Polaroids which you can't get anymore. Um, they're about a pack of Polaroids. It uses the FP100. A pack of these on eBay is currently going for between 50 and 100 pound a pack. Uh, 10, 10 shots, that's five pound, well, between five and 10 pound a shot. Um, it also uses, you need these magic cubes, which again are no longer available, so that will set you back a few quid. So you're easily looking five, ten pound a shot, uh, which is quite a lot. Um, but what you get out of this camera is these amazing headshots. But that's all it does. All it does is, there's no focus, it's a fixed focal length. So you've got a shuffle. Uh, it's a rangefinder style. So you get the um, you get the uh, the image in the viewfinder, and you shuffle and you shuffle around. And uh, but what you get is this amazing Polaroid, four x five Polaroid. They are amazing. Um, the quality, the they're so sharp. Uh, yeah, they're great. Um, I just hope that Impossible Project or Polaroid Original or Polar, I can't remember what they're called now. Uh, I hope they're working on a 4x5 Polaroid because they're great. They just look amazing, the size. It's it's certainly not your, your Instax. Um, but all this camera does is uh, portraits. You you line up, you look through here, it's a, it's a rangefinder. So you've got uh, a viewfinder here and a viewfinder at the bottom and you line up your shot and you shuffle forwards and backwards until you get it in focus uh, and you pull the trigger, boom! and uh, flash fires and 60 seconds later you've got yourself a Polaroid uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the most pointless one trick pony camera uh, Andy Warhol uh, used it quite a lot in the 70s um, he did a lot of headshots, you name it, he shot the, he's, if you search Andy Warhol Polaroids uh, on Google, there's there's low. He did everyone: Debbie Harry, Sylvester Stallone, uh, actors, models, you musicians, you name it, they're on there, and all shot with one of these. But in those days, it certainly wasn't ten pound a shot, um, which is a shame nowadays. Uh, but it's a great camera. It looks uh, it looks good on the shelf. It's I mean it's big. It's uh, it's solid. It's chunky. Um, and it just takes one shot, that's all it does. Nowadays I keep this for special occasions. If I'm doing a shoot uh, with a model and I think it's, you know, the, I don't know, <laughs> and I deem them worthy, then I will, I will take a Polaroid, I will take a, you know, I'll take a big shot. Uh, but for the moment, a lot of these shots are my daughter as she's growing up, um, all the big occasions. First day of school, birthdays, that sort of thing. It's all captured on the big shot. That way I've got a nice 4 by 5 memory. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a, a special camera for special occasions. Let me know what you think. What's the, uh, what's the most ridiculous camera you've come across? Is there any, anything you've got sitting, in your, uh, sitting on your shelf collecting dust? Uh, this one, although it does sit on the shelf, does get used occasionally. Not very often, but yeah, for special occasions it's worth it. <laughs>